just to um, talk a little bit about the uh, the rest of um, Ulysses. Uh, the first three chapters are devoted to Stephen Dedalus, and as I say, they're a, an easy read initially, and then a steep climb in the third episode. For the following um, number of episodes, we are introduced to Leopold and Molly Bloom, and Leopold Bloom is the main character in Joyce's novel, and uh, we accompany Bloom around the streets of Dublin for most of that day and well into the evening, and eventually he makes it back to his home on Eccles Street in Dublin, where he's reunited with his wife, Molly, who has spent the day having an affair with um, her concert promoter, Blazes Boylan. And that affair uh, really does um, hang over, like a shadow, it hangs over Bloom's day, and he's constantly uh, thinking about uh, Molly's infidelity. Bloom, for me, is an interesting character because, um, okay, he's called after the hero of the Odyssey, Ulysses, um, but he's anything but heroic in the normal sense of that word, in that he's an unsuccessful advertising salesman. He doesn't seem to have too many uh, close friends. A lot of his fellow Dubliners are suspicious of him because of his personality, rather prudent, careful individual who doesn't really relate to his um, fellow Dubliners that well. And also, they are suspicious of him because he's not what they would see as a typical Irishman. He's got a Hungarian Jewish background and that exposes him to a certain amount of prejudice on the part of some of the people he meets uh, during the day. But at the same time, he's a... He's an intelligent man, he's a man of moderate views, he's a man who finally, in what I think is the most uh, powerful episode or chapter of Ulysses, the Cyclops episode, which takes place in Barney Kiernan's pub on Little Britain Street, and there Bloom is uh, mixing with uh, a number of uh, the local um, uh, um, people who are drinking in the pub, and he gets into... Uh, an argument with a, uh, a fiery character known as the citizen. And in the end, uh, the citizen sort of attacks him and, uh, you know, uh, impugns him in a way for not being a, a good Irish man as the citizen would see it. And Bloom uh, cuts loose and he says something along the lines of uh, force, hatred, history. That is no life for man and woman when it's the opposite of hatred that we need. And he's asked, what do you mean? And he says, love. So you have Bloom as someone who is made by Joyce to stand up against what he sees as um, extreme views and challenge them and argue against force, hatred, and history as a driving force in life and claim instead that the, the key thing for people, for men and women, is not hatred and force, but rather love. So Bloom is a very um, engaging and agreeable character, not a hero in the old-fashioned sense, the traditional sense of the word, but definitely someone who is, uh, has navigated the, the, uh, the life of early 20th century Dublin and makes his way back to his home in Ithaca, uh, his home in Eccles Street, where he uh, is reunited with Molly. And then the novel finishes with a 60-page um, dreamlike sequence in which uh, Molly reviews her day, her relationship with her husband, Leopold Bloom. And eventually, the novel finishes with Molly thinking about her first uh, encounter with Leopold Bloom on Hoth Hill uh, many years before. And she finishes with those words, yes,